Oh yeah. Up top. Up top. Oh yeah. Okay, it's a guy down here. I thought I said we pick our own boat. Paddle. We paddle one, but it's not going. <laughs> There's not much we can do. Me been born and raised in DC, never been over here. If someone, so far as myself, never had the opportunity to because I didn't get to come here, now I'm here and I'm saying like beautiful things like this, like I think everyone deserves at least an opportunity. My name is Charmia Carolina. I'm 21 years old. I live in the Anacostia area and I'm a trainee at Sasha Brew Youth Build. Bruce is not connected. Slide it over, Josh. That, that board they're working on, it needs to, it's not hitting the board. This is a garden, it's a neighborhood garden that uh, Sasha Bruce is responsible for putting in the community teach people in the community how to grow their own food, how to plant fruits and vegetables, and uh, it also gives the people who live in the community ownership over this. So they pretty much <laughs> take care of it. And what we're doing today is we're just building some fence panels to go around the garden. I just feel like it's one big family. I felt like I was at home the first day. And if you go, if you're a, displace youth and you feel some kind of comfort you're going to try to stick to that comfort and i feel that about youth built since day one and i've been there ever since this is my buddy right here <laughs> <laughs> but now we youth build co-workers yeah. who's always buy his lunch you man around you here about, about you learn with a martyr soul a jig soul all different kinds of tools that i never even knew that existed when i was in high school, I went to another program for cosmetology, but I didn't finish. I just want to finish this program so I can say I finished something, and they're teaching me a lot. My first time dropping out, that was my choice. I wasn't focused on school or anything, but keep trying to go uh, back every year made it harder. I found myself going from 13 and a ninth to 17 and in the ninth and things just became more difficult to the point that I just gave up. What helps the patients? What helps my daughter, the my, my so one-year-old you stayed up so all night. Pressure, you were expect, you should expect them to do this because they're in this development stage. But like, how can, okay, I expect them to do this, but my one-year-old stayed up all night and that made me stay up all night and then I came in here and I've been tired all day. So what helps with patience? Because I know when I get out of here, I'm still going to be around all three of them and be tired again. I, I remember when they was baby babies, so to see them running around is like, wow. I feel like I'm getting old. Even though I'm only 21, I feel like I'm getting old. My oldest daughter about to be seven, and they're like, the baby. I just had her last year, and she's running. <laughs> Eighth grade graduation, I was about six to seven months pregnant. The only one pregnant there, my stomach was out and everything. So I, I got the negative comments when I was pregnant. So after I had her, I was scared to go to school because uh, most of the people in my school traded off to the school that I was going to, which was high school. I'll get stares and then I'll hear people, oh wow, this is only eighth grade and you know what she did on the weekends, that's why she wasn't never around, stuff like that, like little comments that hurt your feelings but don't tear you down, that you use, I guess, in the future to build yourself back up. But it was horrible, it was everything. Around that time, that's when the show 16 and Pregnant came out, so I got, like, people compared me to the show a lot. Say thank you. So when people commented and said stuff like I should 
be on the show or I remind them of the show. Like, I didn't like that because they were trying to say that I was an immature parent. That's why I took parenting classes. I just recently finished another parenting class and I try to get as much help as I can so I can avoid having those comments again. I had a lot of struggles. Um, being homeless after having my first child. While I was homeless, I had my second child. Um, trying to go back to school but keep getting put out because I was homeless so it wasn't guaranteed every day that I'll be able to make it there or make it back. It was nights that I slept at playgrounds when it was like after 12 or 1, lay down on the playground. Um, it was times when I went to the train station just to get on the train to go to sleep. Um, I begged for money to get on the train so I can be able to be warm and go to sleep. Um, fall asleep at bus stops, like I had nowhere to go. So wherever I landed at when I felt tired, that's basically where I went to sleep. My kids was already with my mom because I was homeless. So I just had to worry about myself and that really brought me down. So that started up my drugs ha habit and just made me not have a care for anything for a while because I had, I felt like no one cared for me until I came to Youth Bill and then that's when I started feeling that, that love that I always wanted. She said she want to be a, a doctor. No, not a doctor. A psychiatrist, that's how you say it. Psychiatrist? Yeah, she want to be a psychiatrist. That's what you want to be now? Yeah. I like a house. Oh, I think that she like a house. I thought what that meant. She always said, care of me. She loves me. Whatever I do, she won't give up on me. Roll, roll, roll your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. I felt like I need to change so they can have someone positive in their life because I didn't have anyone positive in mine to show me. That's why I think I slacked off and went the wrong direction. I thought I was homeless and had nothing to my name, that made me say, what, what more can I do but go up from here? My name is Sharmia Carolina, and I am a trainee at Sasha Bruce Youth Build, a community-based program. I am here today to ask for some help and support to get more jobs for the youth in the place where we live. A lot of youth today have families that they uh, have to take care of. I have three children and I go to school full time. When I get out of school, it will be nice to find a job that's local. The summer jobs are fine, but I feel like, I feel as though if summer jobs were offered year round, the crime rate will go down because youth would not have to go through drastic measures to support their families. I feel DC also needs more community-based programs because they are successful with the youth. When you combine a community-based program and jobs, you get something like Youth Build. Youth Build and other support systems like Youth Build can point youth in the right direction. So I would like to have your support today to help me and other youth like me overcome everyday obstacles and help DC residents get and also keep DC jobs. It went from rock bottom to high heaven once I went to Youth Build. It changed everything for me.